Hey, it's Aaron from GameThrews.com, checking out Mystic Veil vale yet again. I've been singing this game's praises for quite some time now, so much to the point where I, I started off with the uh, digital version on Steam, went out and bought the base game and bought the Conclave expansion, and I'm looking to fill in the box with all the, you know, most of the other expansions as well. And this game also has a season pass, which contains uh, three, uh, well, well, three DLCs, uh, Veil of Magic, Veil of the Wild, and Mana Storm. I had most experience with base game and Veil of Magic. And you can see they do give you a nice glimpse as to, I'm very familiar with these actually, a lot of the cards and things that, that this game adds. Uh, yeah, I did another video of Mystic Veil some time ago and I've been playing it like on everything um, kind of non-stop I don't know so I'm not gonna go through all of the the basic I mean I'll kind of brush over them but like it's a it's a uh, it's a well they have a car crafting system where a car can consist of three portions uh, upper middle and lower and you want to build a deck where you're earning as many victory points with the blue gems as possible and great well you'll see and great gems you get one time the blue ones you get every time they come into your field uh, so anyway uh, I'm kind of here they sent me a code for um, the season pass I'd already bought the season pass so I gifted it to someone but I'm you know, I still want to do a video on it so um, season pass includes I think all three of the I think you pay the price for two but then you get all three so mana storm is the last the most uh, recent one which introduces uh, introduces um, some stuff I'm honestly not all that familiar with like there are cards here where you have negative you know gems which the whole point is to gain these so maybe that's kind of a late game thing where you it's not just one that's very expensive but a late game thing where you pick it up and you know you need these spirit resources and it gets you over the hump but that seems like a heavy price to pay because the whole game is focused on earning these so but I guess in summary, uh, the, the mana points are how many like dollars. So this card is worth three when it's in your field, it'll give you two and it will give you a what wind spirit and a sun spirit is also a, if you look here, the bear paw, I'm not sure what I'm close actually, that would be more beneficial, uh, animal spirit. And then this is like a wild card. It can be any one of them. The spirits, uh, appear on the advancement cards and which are all these, and then the cards with, the, with the, the borders on them are called veil cards. They come in tiers uh, like this one, two, it's this two. So you see the two here, and then the lower price ones are here. You can only buy these with the spirits, so you need to build a deck that has uh, a good number of these in order to unlock these. These are some pretty cool effects. Like every time you harvest, you gain this one will give you one victory point one time. Grays are one time. Whereas, uh, where's one with, I don't see any with the, the blue on it. Jeez, tough crowd. The grays you earn at one, at just when you, when they're in your field, you harvest them, you get it. Um, the blue ones, every time it comes into your field, you gain that many victory points. So you wanna, you wanna pay attention to both so you can get it all. Be greedy. Anyway, you, uh, pick up cars that have the spirit tokens on them to buy these cards, which have sometimes they just, oh, look at this one. I've never seen this. This one, you you need one wind spirit and two dollars, essentially. Mana points, like the bucks, like the, the money. I don't think I've ever seen one that didn't just cost a spirit gem. Interesting. This one will give you two great uh, victory, victory points. So, oh, there's some other ones. Cool. So we'll all be doing some learning while we're here. Oh boy. Oh, sorry. And also, uh, there's leaders. Leaders are like a. I don't. There's some story to the game. Like the leaders have come up and are trying to fight back the evil. Yada yada. And the leaders will kind of come into your field like normal cards would. You pick one leader at the beginning of the game, and when they come up, you, their effect is what it is. Um, they're interesting. This something's pretty useful because you get four. You kind of like if you pick the silver wing 
you start the game off with four victory points as soon as your turn starts. Hey, four points, yeah. And um, you all, every time they're in your field, you also get a wild spirit, which could be any one of the other three, being animal, wind, or sun. The amulets, I'm going to be completely honest, I'm not really sure how all the amulets work exactly. I probably should have done some more homework on the amulet part, but you know, you'll, you'll get the, the, the basics of it. So, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to play just one AI for right now on normal difficulty. With all the expansions on, oh boy, uh, leaders enabled. I don't know how the animals work, so uh, I guess I'll wing it. Um, I have a decent track record on normal difficulty. If I play two AI on normal difficulty, I find that whether it's a standard game, meaning like the well, the pool, basically everybody, there's one pool of blue gems everybody's working towards, so and that pool runs out the game is pretty much over. So the victory point pool, just half is half. Standard is 23 and extended is a lot more than that. You'll see. See, this is the part I'm not really, yeah. So the Rootwood Charm, if you spoil, you lose four victory points. If you sp I don't know why, why I, I have yet to understand I, I don't understand the amulet part. I probably need to do a little bit better. You're gonna spoil. Okay, so I just did some quick homework and the amulets oh, wait a minute. work. Uh, the amulets are similar to the mana tokens from the previous editions of the game where if you flip a token over, you can get an extra mana point, things like that. It's, it's an extra point, which is useful. Uh, these are different in that, uh, like this one, the Twilight Shard Harvest. If you evoke it, 50% uh, chance that this amulet will remain in effect after evoking. So you gain something, but at the cost of potentially losing victory points. I'm not the biggest fan of these. Uh, probably, you know, it's just I, I've never really used them, so that's probably the reason why. They do add something. You know, I'm not gonna say they don't. Uh, and it is a little more interesting than just the mana token, meaning hey, you get another dollar to spend. So uh, if you were to spoil, you may evoke and gain a, you know, a growth. You lose four points. Not exactly. Yeah. Um, not exactly what I would want, so. But then what's the flip side of that one? Um, oof, you spoil, you lose four. That, okay, I'm probably just not gonna use those. Oh, wait a minute, what just happened here? Did I just pick them for me or for the, what did I just do? All right, I don't know, if I spoil, I gain two. All right, so uh, I get to pick a leader. So this leader comes with Decay, the bone I mean, the ability is you gain one mana point per card less than seven. It's kind of useful. Also gets six points up front. Uh, harvest, I gain a fertile soil. I get three. I don't really like doing anything that has spoil in it, with exceptions. I, spoil, I deal with if it gives me some blue gems, which I can potentially recoup repeatedly to boost my score. Oh, this is useful though. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll go against my best judgment and get it anyway. I just picked the AIs. I'm not even picking mine. What am I? Sh I'm not thinking here. Uh, wow. She has. She gives you three. Uh, three dollars essentially. A decay and an animal spirit for five instant tokens in the field game. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Wait a minute. Oh, but we gotta stop. Oh, sorry. Apparently I did not set the game up correctly. I wanted, uh, there we go. 
So I'll be yellow. The AI will be normal. Okay. I didn't realize I had that set up correctly. My mistake. I'm sorry. Uh, so I guess it's the general amulet that anybody can get. I don't know. I'll just pick something. Um, this doesn't do anything for you. I'm going to go with this. So oh, wait a minute. The AI leader of my whose leader am I picking? I never know. <laughs> anyway, all right. Oh yeah, I didn't really want that. I want to be that guy. <laughs> I'm gonna be that guy. <laughs> all right. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna be that guy, and I have to have it set up the way I want. Uh, whatever. I don't know. Pick one of these things and harvest. Choose any advancement in the commons and place it into Barkov's workshop. Okay, I get six victory points for that one, so I really appreciate that. All right, so I have five bucks to spend. What I want to spend it on? Uh, that looks pretty promising. Uh, look at this one. The Mist Sylphs. So you get $2 to spend, uh, two spirit tokens, but then you lose. I don't want to lose two victory points. I mean, it could be worth it, but I don't. That's the thing. Victory points, when they come up, if you're losing them, that. Like this one. Yeah, it gives you two right off the bat. It gives you a, guardians, a guardian token, which can trigger effects on other cards, but you get two every time it comes up. I don't know. Oh, it's not repeated. So it's just two one time. Okay. Okay, so you just lose two at one time. I've yeah, I'm I've not played a lot of these new cards a whole lot, so forgive me if I'm just I'm figuring things out. So uh let me see what I'm looking at here. Of course I have none. I'm just gonna go into the other phase. Salute. Wow. You lose two off the bat, but then you get that is that is so that's so different than I mean. Wow. This is another trade off. Uh, this one I'm adding. I'd be adding decay, but I get a gray. I get a great victory point and I get a, a, a wild. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm not playing the way I normally play, so I don't know what I'm doing here, really. Uh, well, this is easy. Cleansing rain, of course. It's a no-brainer. I was looking at all the cards. I'm looking in the lower right instead of the upper left. Upper left has stuff that has the blue gems that you get every time they come up into your field, whereas, yeah. So losing two off the bat isn't horrible. Oh, deck, if you spoil game, game two victory points and take another turn. That's pretty dope. Uh, I probably should have pushed it. What do I have here? Seven. Uh, so that's seven, eight, nine, ten. I added the one. That's ten. So these would have been these would either would have been blanks, or been uh, fertile soil. Oh well, I should have pushed. I didn't. Um, may as well make something out of those cars with the K on them. Okay, um, I have six. What should I do here? I'm very tempted to buy this. Oh, it said I spoiled. I'm not doing anything. Duh, crap. Play. Oh, crap. Oh, I didn't even realize it's this, but I'm already done. Turns over. Okay, I'm playing. Not 
his car now. That sucks, man. Uh, we have two, so let's put that there. You see the this thing glowing here. I don't think I'm. I'm probably not even gonna touch it because I'm not. I don't really know the amulets. I mean, the, the base game. If it's glowing, you touch it, you get another dollar to spend. So, of course, you're gonna touch it. Like, why would you not? Let's see what I'm looking at here. Six, seven, eight, nine. I added a tenth. Remember, you have nine cursed lands. I added this one, so that's ten. So. Which means one of these, there's a 50 50% chance of me spoiling. I'm not gonna bother, I'm not gonna mess with that. Uh, so, I'm just gonna put this here. I know better than that. Okay, can I get anything? Okay. Oh, I wish I could get this one. Harvesting game, that's, that's what I want. A lot of people push. I. Oh, this is starting fresh. I don't. I haven't really done enough to all of the a lot of these uh these things to really push. Now, if you evoke your token in addition to other effects, you gain one during the harvest phase of that turn. Yes, I'm probably not gonna really do anything with that. But I'll grab it anyway because ties are broken by a number of veil cards. Or you know, so gotta get some veil cards. Um. Uh, Probably should grab this one. That might make sense. Just put all those together. Oh, a cleansing rain. What else do I have here? I'll discard that. Of course, I have yellow. What in? Th I have no. What? <laughs> Ancestral lore stones cost you 30 mana points, but it's worth 18 gray victory points. That is nuts. I've never seen that before. Wow. And I've had, I think my, the most I've ever had was like 44 or 48. Let's boil on that. Okay, that's useful. I'm at five. Um, all on deck. If you spoil this card, this card and gain two for each. Oh, that's kind of useful. Um, but I, I'm not gonna put two decay on one thing. I'm not that crazy. Yeah, I've done it, but don't, don't. choose any advancement in the commons and place it. I don't even know what that. I don't honestly know what that means. Like then the whole upgrading thing. These are all things that I just haven't done a lot of. Of course, means I'm afraid to do them because uh, I played another game I recorded a Let's Play for and I lost pretty bad. So I, I want to at least win this one. Kind of good at the game, I mean, I don't, you know. Good is relative, but uh, add more decay. Uh, I don't want to do that. Um, put her in there. Um. I don't really know what this means. Add to workshop. What what does that what does that even mean? Does that really add the decay? Uh I don't know. I probably should have done some more homework because I should feel comfortable with some of these elements, which is the whole reason why they released this thing. But right now I know if I click on this. Yeah, evoke, choose, harvest, choose one advancement you bought this turn. You may use that advancement this turn. That is kind of useful. I gotta say, not right now. I don't want to lose two points for it. But wait a minute. If this one, if I evoke, well, this shows the mana token, not this one. Maybe this means tokens, period. If I evoke it, then I get one more of these. That, that could be very useful. I'm not sure how I'll use it right this second, but that could be very useful. I gotta get some more victory points here. Like, 
So, uh, the AI isn't doing a whole lot just yet, but that will change. Okay. That was smart or dumb to put that on there. I always, I've struggled with like, do you add good stuff to sort of crappy-ish cards? Just to get, make them worth something? I don't know. I kind of go back and forth on whether or not it makes sense to do that. Okay, so this is worth... So if I do this, I'm spending two. Do I want to do that? Uh, so I get one from this one. I add to K, but I get one from this one. But... Take some kind of risks here. Okay, so two, just throw that in there. I haven't seen anything that provides. Okay, well, that one thing. Okay, well, the growth tender's gone. Nothing within here was providing any um, any growth, so this so wasn't that much of a of a stretch. Oh boy. So I get two for this, but I lose two. What cards do I want? Ooh. Two victories, a spirit gem, but I lose. Ugh, why do I have to lose something? This is useful. Of course, I'm adding another decay, which. All right, so if I get. I can extend the game, sort of. Harvest game one for each card. So that's kind of useful. Um, I'm gonna grab this one. Yeah, yeah, shut up. So thing goes up for that one. I these cards are interesting. I just added more to the pool. That is, wow. And now that I'm one behind, I guess I don't mind being two behind to add a card with a resource that's useful in addition to two uh, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute. in addition to well the trade off is I'm eating one now which I already ate because I added it but then I get two blue points so that's not too bad Okay, upgrade harvest when you may pay one. Choose any advancements in Barkov's workshop and sleeve them all on any one card in your field and place that card at the bottom of your deck. So I need to beef up the workshop first. Choose any advancement and place it. So I guess I should get a bunch of cards I want in the workshop and then do it. I don't know. I don't really know how. how well, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna, we gonna go big. We're gonna do it. So Aurora, there you go. We're gonna do it big. That's kind of cool. I guess if I upgrade it, then I don't know. I'll figure that out too. We'll get the upgrade stuff doing stuff so if I do this I gain two which is worth it but then I don't have any money the fact that there are veil cards that use mana points is kind of blowing my mind right now I just I've been so trained into like you need spirit tokens to buy veil cards that's that's like a huge part of the game. You have, if you don't have any spirits, you, you, the, the upper portion of this, the whole thing is like nothing to you because you don't have anything. Like, you wow. Okay. The Ent Guardian. Okay, I'm going level one advancements on this car gain. Oh, huh, that's kind of cool. Oh, and th these mean like eclipse, so you can place things over them. Place things over this card 
were sort of replaced it. So the rule about, I guess the rule about break, about not being able to use mana points on veil cards has been broken by one of the expansions. And then you can cover up a card, which is, has this logo on it. So you essentially could put something over this. Now, if this card had gave a blue gem, I think you would cover that up too. But since it's gray, I earn it now anyway. So I get it right now. So that's cool. Working with here, I have five active in there, so that will be as fast as six, seven, eight. Yeah, I pushed and didn't blow up. Now I pushed almost for nothing because there's only one fertile soil left, and I'm not getting this thing because I don't want to lose two. I, no, even even at two mana, I'm still not trying to. And I was kind of dumb to push because I have three gems coming up. Had I spoiled, I would have lost all of that, which would have been dumb. Uh, hmm. Put that there. Oh. And put that there. I did not even realize I had three gems that were ready to go. That could have really blown up in my face. Ooh, this is going to be nice. Three, two, one. Whew, yeah, I'm getting something good. I'm getting something real good. But it's almost like thinking on now. I like think about if veil cards cost mana points, it changes the whole way I think about. I can get any single card I want, except for this one, obviously. Uh, what does it say? When bought, you may discard this card to gain. Two victory points per bloom in your field. Yeah, I don't really have any bloom in my fields. So that's kind of pointless. Oh, there's so many good cards. Do I take the five from this now? Or do I always gain a sun token? That this is. Uh, this is where it gets tricky. Let's see. Um, all right, three. So I'm basically using everything except this one to gain it. So I can't get both of those. So if I go brown and wild, I can get this one. I can get this and this. So I'm basically losing three victory points, five now or potential for more later. Uh, which one did I get? Oh, brown or wild. That's what's up. That is that is so dope. Um, all of your yellows would be used as wild cards. That's pretty useful too. Of course, looking at the cards that are out here, there's so many green, but then they be wild. So what do I care for? All right, yeah, that, yeah, that's what's up. Okay, now I can buy any card here. Ooh, I can get rid of some decay. Ooh, nice. Uh, do I want to do that though? That's the question. Uh, this is nice. What is this one? Guy's kin. It's worth two great victory points if you have one. Yeah, I don't do that. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this decay. Put those two together. And I feel like should I even bother with this thing? Yeah, screw it. And. I don't know what what is this? I don't. I still don't understand what this thing does. Should probably figure it out at some point. Ooh, the AI is up to twenty. Jeez, man. Don't waste any time. You're killing me. <laughs> Ooh, cleansing rain. I guess that is the trade-off of putting cursed lands, putting really good stuff, because then 
What do you get rid of? So three green, three wild, which means I can buy this one and this one. And this. Uh, let's see. Any card. This is going to be insane. <laughs> this is going to be crazy. All right. Uh, when bought, you may just card this card to gain two per bloom. I only have one bloom, so I'm not really all that wild about that one. I'm wild about five victory points, though. That I am wild about. I'll snag that. Discard. Instead of discarding this card, you may place it on the bottom of your deck. Discard. I, why? Okay. And that's what I got. So once again, I apologize for not, for not really understanding how all the heroes work. Uh, I don't, oh, I can open the workshop. Can I choose anything out of the workshop? P pretty good cards in there, but can't do anything with it now. I guess I could now. Could also upgrade. Let's probably figure out what all that means. But I'm kind of focusing on winning right now. It's like no growth, man. Like I like some of these. I would love to get some of this stuff, but I have no growth to like cancel it out with. It's, it's crazy. Uh, what do I want? I'm going. Ugh. Slim pickings. Probably should have pushed. Okay, while well on deck, if you spoil, discard this card. You know, have, don't have any guardian. Uh, I don't really build any guardian gems. Uh, all ongoing. Yeah, I guess that's useful. Be useful if I paired it with something that mattered, but I don't have anything. Uh. Take that. And I probably should have. No, I couldn't put those two under both bottom. Um, level one advancements. Uh, I just want the victory point, so screw it. Oh, yes. Uh, activate. How many can I fit on here? I don't even know what this means. I feel like I'm missing out. It's probably something really crazy and really ill. I just don't know what it is. This will be a dumb time to push unless I'm certain that there's nothing I can do here. Because five gems are coming my way. Harvest, I always gain a mana point or almost gain that. I'm going to pick that. Where's the fault for that stuff? If only this one was a middle card, I would slap it right here and scream. If only. <sighs> you know what, though? I can build up to that, hopefully. Some really cool cars in here though. See now I'm at a point where I feel like yeah I could probably buy something and use it right away and eat two points. But whatever. I also is there anything I want here that's worth I mean I'm not adding decay to this thing. Uh I would uh, if I push and I uh, spoil I ruin getting any of these and getting two victory points. I'm not going to be that dumb. What is this? It's worth two in front of you. I don't really have any blank cards. I'm not really gaining anything from that one. Uh, spoil. I'm going to do that. Mm, 
I'm gonna find something better here. That's, yeah, I could do this, but the opportunity call, I'm starting to run out of space. The game is also coming to a close, so screw it. I'll take it anyway. Three wild. This is crazy, man. This is nuts. I love it. Jeez. How did it get up to 30? I mean, the AI killing me, man. Take two points and I'm nine. So I can get anything here. Question is, do I want it? This is kind of useful, but the game is almost over. But it does have two, two gray points. Gray, you get right away. Blue, you have to wait for it to come back through. Sorry, that rhymed. Um. with that thing still never figured out this whole workshop thing what is, let me just do this upgrade no, no, what does it do what does that even mean I don't know okay <laughs> sure uh, I want to stay away I want to Keep away from, let me see, this one. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm going to go gray gem crazy just because I know that's the K, but I could use those two gems to stay away from the AI who has me in the crosshairs. Yeah, the game is almost over, so. That's a really cool looking car with the like cloud, looks like a person. And the AI does what it always does, where it comes out of nowhere, and yep, game over. Man. And I lost. Probably should have seen that coming. So this is what the AI had. What do they have? Let me start off with eight, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure I didn't use the leader as well at all. I don't even know this. I don't even know the bear was here. I love that bear. Bear has, has growth on it. I, and I love growth. So, yeah. Did really well with the veil cards, but in the end there, yeah, the AI kind of snuck up and, and beat the crap out of me. Man. I don't want to play again though, but I, I'm, I don't, I'm not, it's, it's out of pure ignorance. I don't really know how the leaders work. So I'd rather just play a game without them, just see how that goes. I should probably learn how it works as well as the amulets and I will, but for right now, um, this seems less punitive to lose two as opposed to three for spoiling. Uh, harvest. I was like, uh, okay, sure. Oh, now if this is a leader I can get behind, it's a growth and two gray gems. That that makes sense to me. Oh, I got rid of the leaders from the last expansion, not the other. The other leaders, yeah, they make a lot more sense to me. Yay! Ooh, but I lose two. Hmm. That is kind of useful though. But I'm gonna be a creature of habit and do the cleansing rain. Because I always do. Thus leaving the AI to oh, they didn't get the mist silts. And ooh, I should probably push. It's risky. But I got it. Of course I have to marry this up with another car. That would harvest is a good one too. That is a good one. Come on, what do I have here? What's out here? What do we got here? 
When play, you may turn your token to the active side. Mm. Put that there. Why, what? Why do I have negative two? Wait. What? 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 Uh, uh, okay. I'm. I, I missed. I missed something. I. I have negative two. I wasn't paying attention to something. I should have been. Because now I have negative two. I don't want to have negative two. Harvest you make discard this card and gain one. Maybe you get token. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, let's go for the easy money. I just have some spoil condition stuff. Ooh, that's worth four though. Uh, choices, choices. I'm gonna go with this one, and then still be able to afford this, which gets rid of that decay, which I like. Oh, wait a minute. Get that too. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the cursed lands. We got three. Ongoing. Total Chief has one for each. So I'm assuming that means on this car. It means it's including itself. Correct? Let's hope so. Didn't say for every other car. It just said one. Two, six. Very nice. And I'm out of the hole. How does AI has 12 already? Come on. Killing me with this. Blink and they're like a thousand points away. Really, just 12, but you see my point. Uh, shuffle any number of cars from your discard pile into your deck. Hmm. That is useful. That is very useful. Now what is this? Yeah, no, I'll need one more thing that I can't spend the money on. We good. Oh, three measly points. Let me see, six, seven, eight, nine. So they're pretty much all gonna be, yeah, cursed land. So I'm not gonna mess with that too much. Plop that right there. Uh, I don't think I should discard that now. I don't want to save that for when I really need it. So 11 points down. Great. How the heck did they get to 14 already? <sighs> Killing me. points down. The game just started. Alright. Let me see what else. Once per turn, you may spend two dollars to gain any one of those. Uh, yeah. Whenever you evoke your token, in addition to other effects, you gain two mana. Yeah, I'll do that instead. So I get to take any card and there's like nothing here. Uh, should I put decay in there? No. That's pretty much it. Still a good card though. Okay, put that there. Okay, I have to push at least. Ah, screw it. Uh, well, this decay is already. And then does decay count? No, I mean, growth doesn't count. 
So this is one, two, three. This will be four, but it's already counted out. I can't get anything with three. So I may as well keep going. So there we go. I'll grab that. And I hate to put this with a crappy car, but I could definitely use some gems coming in here. And there we go. Come on, keep going. Ooh, nice. Ooh. So every time I harvest, I will gain a wild gem. I'd be a fool to not buy that. When bought, you may look at the top three cards of your deck and discard any. Your deck will not be shuffled. And I gain three victory points. I'm going to say yes. Discard that one, discard that one. Oh, they, they, they will discard that too. That was dumb. I could have used the blank one, but I got excited. That was stupid. Okay. This is very valuable. Gain one for every two cards in your field. That's always a crowd pleaser. And. Do that and then that. Oh, wait a minute, what, what am I, what am I not doing here? Oh, let's activate this bad boy. Shuffle a number of cards from your, from your discard pile into your deck. I don't want to put any of those in there. Well, actually, let me reverse what I had done before. Yeah, put that one back in, so I might need a blank one. All right, so I'm at 12, so I'm doing a little bit better. A little bit. Stupid AI. Let me get you. Uh, I'm not risking any blues. I only have one spirit gem, so I may as well push. Sure. That. Okay, now I got three. Yay. Uh, so at four, the best I can do is get this one all going if there are three or more. Uh, or if maybe, maybe I'll get five. Maybe I'll spoil. Who the heck knows? And I spoil, so screw it. Yay. So right now I have gain. Oh yeah, I'm gonna gain the, yeah. Definitely doing that one. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Definitely gotta get some more gems coming in here. Uh, I'm torn now. I don't like adding decay, but This might be a killer combo right there, so I'm gonna do that one. Keep coming. Ooh, I'm at 16, about to get six. Oh yes, oh yes. And I got 11. Do I have any guardian gems here? Yes, I have one, good. All right. Uh. Gain one permanent growth. <sighs> I, I don't even know. Yes, of course, I will gain one permanent growth. Um, you broke your token. I'm kind of staying away from them. Uh, however, she made this card, this card, and per to purchase a level two advancement for nothing. Uh, yes, please. Okay, what is this? Double the victory points from your advancements on this card, including tax effects. 
that's pretty useful. Um, do I have any other growth? Of course not. Ah. Um. Hmm. It's five eleven. I could add this and then add this with which to nullify the decay and then take my six. I can get my two points and still get that and call it that. All right, ongoing. If there are three or more guardians on this card, they'll bear gains. That doesn't do anything for me right now. And some of these. Okay, I can discard to get I get rid of this card, get one more mana point buy the sun shard custodian and then put them within the middly crappy car but whatever I don't care oh I have options look at that oh, what is this let me discard this to purchase a level two advancement for zero let me see can I put it in the ah uh, see if I could oh, wait a minute for nothing? For nothing. Heck yeah. Be a fool not to. Get rid of that. And I hate to marry crappy cards, but yeah, I'll do that one too. That was a nice little turn there. Alright, if I get rid of this one. I'm getting rid of a potential. Yeah, so I'm not gonna do that at all. I'm doing much better now. Game ain't over yet though. AI is tricky. It knows all the ways. All right, for each, gain one mana point for each guardian on the card in your field with the most uh, I'm just gonna harvest and gain one of those every time. I think uh I have five what to do with this. Um buy more mana cards. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, the game's coming, it's getting down to the wire there, so let's see if I'm getting ready to earn another five and there's 12 left. Spell cards, it's just, it's crazy. This is crazy. Um, should I bother with this? If I do this, if I get rid of these two, I only have one, two, three, four left over. I can't get this one. But I could get this one. Um, let's see how this works. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll still get four gems, but yeah, I like how that works out. I have nine to spend. Um, I want to spend this on. One blank card. I'm seeing something with the discard. That's two blank cards. So what is this? I have two blank cards. So I get two. That kind of seems like it's worth it to me. But I want to buy this one too. No, this one. But there's no blank to put it on. I could just do this one for eight. 
No, it's too much to carry in one card. Um, you have nowhere to put this thing. I don't want to discard this one. That's a good card. Let's do that. Only seven left, punk. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. 11. I'm gonna earn 11 victory points in this next turn. Yeah, they, yeah, AI, you're done. My gray gems, I'll, you tied my gray gems. And you have one blue. I have 16 now. Boom, 11. I, mean, I could do the math here, but I mean, I, I got this. The game is over. Um, I'm gonna get four from here. I should probably look to see what the split is, but I don't care. Um, I just love this card because it's the name of one of the expansions. And even though I won't have another chance to harvest, I just love this card. Or I don't get any points for it though. So I'm gonna get that card. And I'm gonna come over here. Double the victory points you gain from advancements on this card. I don't think there's any here I really Yeah. I'll just show off and just grab this to take care of one other decay and know it's the end of the game anyway. And Oh boy, um, I'm putting way too much thought in, like, the fact that it's like the end of the game, it doesn't really matter. I have handedly, soundly beat the AI. And you all have witnessed it. That makes me happy. Doesn't really matter, I need to just make a decision here. Uh, why am I, why am I taking so long to make this decision? Blah. Okay, I put that there. And there's only six in the pool. I'm getting 11. So. Oh, no, that is, that's it. No final round. You're done. If AI wins, I'm jumping out of a window. So here we go. 63 to 30. So that, this victory had nothing. I mean, the, it's the cards that come up. You know, what you put together, how you have a chance to get them. So there's nothing... Me turning off the leaders from the last expansion have nothing to do with this. I still need to learn how all the amulets and stuff works, but hopefully, um, if you, you watched this video, if you already knew how Mystic Veil works, that this, all this stuff made sense to you. I hope it did. Um, anyway, yeah. I love Mystic Veil. I like playing this game with my kids, uh, the analog version, and obviously I like playing the digital version. It's a really fun game. Every game is kind of different. Cause you get to put cards together differently and just do different combinations of things. This is a really dope game. I really like it. Uh, the expansions are great. I would suggest getting all of them. Uh, even if I'm not really all that wise about how some of the more advanced leaders work and the amulets work. Just, I mean, it's, there's still so much goodness here. You know, it's a really good game. And where's that one that costs 30? Is that in this one or the other one? Like the fact that like this here it is, this is nuts. This is crazy. Thirty mana points to get eighteen victory points. There's been there have been times that that would have been possible. That is loving it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Have you played Mystic Veil? Vale? If you do, what do you like most about it? If you haven't played it, uh, are you are you interested in playing it at all? So once again, this is this is everything, all the content that's, that's been put out thus far. I think I'm pretty sure there is more. Oh, I know there's more because there's like the Mystic Veil Harmony. There's other expansions that are out there. I don't know. I, I mean, I know you can buy Veil of Magic, Man of Storm and Veil of the Wind. But I know there's other ones that are out there. I think Harmony might be one of them. There might be another one. But then there's Conclave. Conclave 
doesn't add more cards necessarily, but Conclave adds uh, a fifth and sixth player. Now you can play up to four people, same screen. Um, I think I'm gonna do four on four online on this one. But the Conclave thing, I don't know if they have plans to add the Conclave stuff where you can have five or six people playing. That'd be kind of cool. But they did add it, they have to. One thing the Conclave analog version does is it adds a day and night um, store. So with this kind of game, you don't want to, I mean, you you saw how long I contemplated decisions. So the whole point of Conclave is to allow two different like full setups. So you play the night store or the night setup, the day setup, and you alternate so that you're waiting, your waiting time to play is halved, which makes sense because sitting around waiting isn't necessarily the most fun thing to do in the world. But that was a smart design. So yeah, I'm a fan of this game. Um, I have all these expansions on the uh, the mobile version, so I play this game all the time. Good times. So if you like the video, and uh, there should be something up on the screen allowing you to click on them and watch more videos, leave comments, share them, like them, all that good stuff. So I've rambled on enough. It's been almost an hour. And yeah, that's going to do it for me. Um, thank you for watching. Take care and be blessed.